always treat all firearms with the belief that they are loaded. Never assume otherwise. Never point your firearm at anything you don't intend to kill or destroy. Never place your finger on the trigger until you have your target on sight and ready to shoot. Always be aware of your target foreground and background. Know your target and everything around it. These are the four cardinal rules of firearm safety. And with that, I welcome you to this video I created for the sole purpose of bringing more awareness around the safe use of firearms since there isn't any unanimous position on gun control laws. It is globally an open secret that American citizens have one of the easiest access to guns and firearms worldwide. But the sad reality is that not many people who have these guns are trained in the safe way of handling such dangerous weapons. So, what better place would one deem fit as a location to learn more about firearms and try out various options available other than the United States of America? Now, let me quickly mention that I strongly condemn the use of weapons to harm people and I do not promote or condone violence in any way, form or manner. The purpose of this video is strictly for the sake of creating enlightenment and awareness while promoting healthy conversations around the possession of firearms by individuals. Keep watching and I can bet that you will learn a few things about guns in this video. I just arrived at the Athena Gun Club here in Houston. It's located around the Cathy Way. This is what the building looks like. You can see it right behind me. They have lots of guns. I wanted to fire some guns and I checked online. I just checked where are the best places. And this place ranks among the very best when it comes to safety, considerations, and all of those interesting things that one should look out for. And here I am trying to check it out for myself. So let me go in get all my registration sorted and go fire some firearms. So guys, I'm about to go for my training, but first I have to do some paperwork, sign some forms, and my instructor here is Chris, and we'll be talking to him much later. So let me quickly fill this, and we'll go have some training. Unfortunately, I can't show you what it looks like in the training center, but um, afterwards, Chris will give us a few tips on how to safely um, use firearms in a very safe way, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so for our first pick is the uh, Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0 metal. So we are learning how to save from help already. firearms already, <laughs> and we are not yet in class. So this is the first option. That's the first option. The second one is a Sig Sauer Legion. It's a more of a sporting gun, heavier but easier to control. Okay. And then how many boxes of ammunition do you want? Uh, they come in sets of 50 rounds for twenty dollars. One box is fine. One box is fine. All right, guys, we are doing this actually my first time and I'm showcasing everything for you to see. Remember, safe handling is what I'm recommending. So learn from the pros, learn from the experts and Chris is going to show me how to do this safely. finished the training class and we are going to have a training break before we go to the range. We were kind of over your seat, there's cameras in every single lane. So our range safety officers will keep an eye on us the whole time, okay. making sure that we are safe. Okay. When we're in there, we're going to be sharing these guns, but we're not going to hand them to each other, which okay. means is if I ask you for the gun, mm -hmm. you're going to place it right there on the bench and then I will pick it up myself, okay. vice versa. Uh, these guns will be facing downrange at all times. We're not going to fit, bring them up to the side, the left, right, turn around with them, walk around, just straight down towards the targets at all times. Okay. So if you want to shoot as fast as you can, you're able to shoot as fast as you can, as long as you're not hitting the ceilings, floors, or walls. So we're going to get in there. I'm going to get you some ear protection. Okay. 
Uh, when you go in there, it's a two door system. Okay. So we're gonna go one door at a time. So as you always be mentioning, do it safe, do it right. And I'll put this in first yeah. before the head of us. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> that means it's working. <laughs> yes, okay. To go to the range and put our learnings to a test. Hopefully, we'll be able to show that. Okay, so this would be our target for today, guys. Same thing. We're going to start with one round, okay? We'll take this up. Uh, into your armpit. Just like that. Two first. Just like that. Now before we charge it, let's move this back to seven. Now you can take it off of safe, put it on fire, and you can charge it. Just like that. And then you can grab it by the hanger and put it on just like that. Okay. Woo! A ten. Whoa! All different, huh? <laughs> Way different. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Our first round, first round. So I can keep this uh, all yours. So big now, right? Yep. That's okay. seven is. About you. It's on right away. Chris is telling us the right thing to do. Ooh, in the heart. Yeah. Reach over with your left hand. With my left hand. Yeah. Yeah, so. Boom, boom. Nice. That was right in the middle. I'm sending my first ever target shoot. And I'm right. Uh, because I like you, I'll take Chris with my instructor. Thank you. I can put this as, as yours. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, by looking at these holes, can you tell which of them was the AK and which of them was the handgun? Uh, yes. AK, handgun. Okay. The AK is slightly smaller. I think this is where we bring all the conversations about safety with Chris to a close. I'll just fire a few, uh, the remaining rounds and I'll wrap up later. So, uh, Chris, what would you like to just say to people who intend to go to a shooting range and how can they be safety? Always practice your four rules of safety. Always, 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 always. If you look them up, it's a four fire a rules of safety across the board. Always practice them. Always be respectful for the range staff. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, please, uh, just help me write in the comments how much you have appreciated the learnings we have given to us. And um, whenever you are in Houston, this is called the Athena Gun Club. Athena Gun Club. Yes, and you meet Chris here. And he's a fantastic guy, wonderful guy, happy to share his knowledge. And I don't have this for a better instructor for my very best. I eventually fired all the ammunition I bought for the Glock and the AK-47 and I felt some relief that the bang 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 was finally over and most importantly I was unharmed. Not too bad for a first time, all right? I think I did great. I'm not yet certain if I would be visiting a shooting range again anytime soon, but I am almost certain I would remain on the side of those who doesn't think it is wise for just about anyone to own a gun. While this experience is one I won't forget in a hurry, it is important to mention that a gun is not a toy and it is not meant for children. Guns can cause significant harm and damage, so global efforts are required to ensure it is only placed in the right hands. I know this isn't a debate that has an end date in sight, so I would just like to end this video by saying Thank you very much for watching as always and I strongly recommend that you subscribe to the channel right away so that you don't miss out on the more exciting videos I'm bringing your way next. Many thanks to Chris and everyone at the Athena Gun Club. Till I see you again in the very next video, it is peace and lots of love from me to you. See you later and bye for now.